One of the things that drew me to this house was this cool spiral staircase. I absolutely fell in love with it, and I knew one day I'd have to do an awesome project just to top it all off. So what I think would be cool would be to put a mechanical iris at the top of this stairwell. You know, like the, the iris inside of a camera that opens and closes. So the first thing I did was I designed a few of them for 3D printing. I prototyped them out at different sizes and I learned a lot. I learned the different parts that were necessary to make it work and how they were constructed. And I also kind of learned that I wasn't going to be able to scale one up and build it at four feet wide with the tools that I had available. If I were to try to do it by hand or with a jigsaw with my skills, it wasn't going to turn out great. I mentioned this project in passing to my friends at CNC Router Parts and they got so excited and they asked if they could partner with us to make it happen. This blew me away. Not only were they going to supply the tools necessary to put this giant mechanical iris together, they sent out an expert to make sure it went well. I'm Nathan Skalski. I'm one of the co-owners at CNC Router Parts. We make industrial CNC machines for your business or home shop that you assemble. So here it is, you can see I've got all this space here that's unused, it's cool, but there's like this unfinished edge and I mean this house is so unique and weird. I thought yeah. it would be cool if I could put like a, a mechanical iris here that opened and closed. I know I told you about it on the phone and you yeah. got some ideas too. Oh, it's too. really cool. Tell me what you think about if, can we do that? Like, is that doable? So when you talked to me, I didn't really understand this was gonna be a perfectly round roof. That's perfect. We're gonna be able to cut something that fits in here really snug. It's gonna look like it's fully integrated into the house and it's gonna really surprise people, I think, when they see it open and shut. So I think this is a slam dunk. It's really cool. Normally I'd say the largest challenge with a project like this is the design, uh, but using Fusion 360, we'll be able to lay out the parts, I think like two or three layers, and actually do all the motion studies in CAD. Uh, for me, Generally, the challenge is making all these leaves that will work together in a somewhat non-trivial way and knowing before we make it that it's going to actually work and close as far as we want to. So using motion studies and fusion will help us visualize and understand if our design is correct before we make it. All right, I think we have a shared vision for what this thing should look like and do. I've decided to design and make a smaller desktop version of this. Make sure that the leaves open and close correctly, that there's not too much friction, and basically just work at a more manageable scale and make sure I know about what we're heading into and can troubleshoot some things beforehand. At its most basic, an iris like this uses two plates to cause the leaves to pivot and slide through their movement arcs. And that's the responsibility of this fixed plate and this moving plate. I ended up making the gear ring and the moving plate one part when I fabricated this, though if I were to spend a bit more time on it, it could be interesting to see them done separately and maybe have the gearing made of some contrasting metal. Anyway, next I have a fixed plate at the top to retain this entire assembly and act along with this bearing ring as a joint for the moving plate. Of course, we also have a drive motor and drive gear, which I've made a pocketed mount interface for, and the rest is basically just standard hardware fare, fasteners, standoffs, etc. Scaling this design up to the full 40 inch outer diameter stairwell is primarily accomplished by modifying the parameters of the design. However, now that Caleb and I have iterated on this a bit, we've realized that we want to invert the entire assembly so that the motor is facing up towards the skylight and that the lower fixed plate will now double as the facade of the mechanical iris, you know, the part you see when you look up. Not a big deal, though we do need to open up this plate a bit, I think, and expose the gear ring, mechanicals, and just kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. That should do it. We've also made the fixed plates the same diameter as the stairwell that we're going to be installing this in, and also done some weight reduction on the moving parts and some of the fixed portions using pockets and patterns. After all, what good is an awesome skylight if you can't lift it above your head to install it? This will also help reduce friction, so I'm very excited about some of these changes. For this project, we're going to use a Pro 6120. So that's a five foot by 10 foot machine. One of our industrial category machines that you can use for your business or your home shop.
I was blown away by how fast everything went. I was able to cut all of the parts for this pretty much within one day. It took a little bit longer because I was figuring out how to use everything, but if you had all the design ready to go, you could cut it very fast. Speaking of the design, the folks at CNC Router Parts were so excited about this, they completely designed this thing from scratch. They didn't use my designs and they're giving them away. There's a link to the design down below. So here it is, installed and fully functional. I can flip a switch and it opens or closes. It's got an Arduino controlling a stepper motor for opening and closing, which means you could put any number of sensors or other kinds of things on it to make it do whatever you want. Control it by temperature, by light amount, whatever. This is so exciting. I've wanted to do this project for so, so long. And here it is. Now the speed is variable. Personally, I like it at this nice, slow pace. It's smooth and elegant. Any faster and it just seemed kind of harsh and scary. Anytime that I finish a big project like this, I like to look back at it and see what I could do differently or even possibly better. The first thing that you probably notice is that it doesn't close all the way. There's always a gap at the center of it whenever it's closed. That's just due to the nature of this type of mechanical iris. If you have the overlapping leaves like this, no matter how you do it, it's going to end up with a little bit of a gap at the center. I was willing to live with that. I knew that going in. There are other designs where you have less petals that all just meet at the center that look more mechanical. But personally, I liked the almost organic nature of the overlapping petal design, so that's why I chose it. These bolts, as it turns out, in this design, are completely unnecessary. I could remove them, and I haven't decided if I like the way they look enough to keep them or not. I might replace them with something more aesthetically pleasing. This one is controlled with a stepper motor, so even though you could use it to regulate temperature from the skylight or light or something like that, I'm not going to because of the layout of the room that's attached to this. It's not going to have that big of an impact. I might replace that stepper motor with a hand crank just because I think it would be cool. I don't know. I'll have to have some fun with it. Once again, I want to say thank you so much to CNC Router Parts for partnering with us on this project. This is so cool. Be sure to like and subscribe for more.